Hello. I thought I would take this time to talk about my thoughts on the Game of the Year movie. Uh, this is also going to be a video response to Veronica Wannabe. I believe that is her name. I'm sorry if I, for whatever reason, have pronounced her name wrong. I'll just call you Veronica. Um, yeah, well, like, I think the Lame is around movie is looking pretty well so far. You got a strong director, you have a strong cast, you Jackman, Amanda Sheffield, Helen Bottacardo, Russell Crowe, Foster Baron Cohen, among others. And, uh, yeah, so the cast is looking very good. I mean, like, I don't really have a problem with any of them. Hugh Jackman, of, you know, to, as we may know, a Broadway actor. He started off at Broadway. We know Hugh Jackman best as a Broadway actor and Wolverine. And we don't really know him from anything else. It's, I'm sorry, we just don't. And, of course, and we also have two Broadway actors to kind of go along with it. Uh, Aaron, I can't pronounce his last name, and Eddie. I mean, like, uh, they got Amanda Sheffield to play Cabet, which I think is a pretty nice choice, a decent choice. I mean, like, uh, she's a very beautiful woman, in my opinion, and she appealed new then Chloe, Big Love, and Alpha Dog. <laughs> um, yes. They got Anne and Hathaway and stuff, and, like, again, like, it's a very good cast. So they have Taylor Swift, and my concerns with Taylor Swift are pretty, well, I would say negative, but I'm not exactly sure what to think. I think that we should kind of give her a little bit more of a chance, and I'll explain why soon. The thing is, my concern with Taylor Swift is Eponine, as we may know, all know, is a pretty rangy world. She's Eponine is a soprano character, if you will. Taylor Swift, as far as, as far as we know, is not. She doesn't have that type of rangy voice, as far as we know, and it's like, I'm kind of, I don't really not necessarily know what to think about it. Maybe we could have her, maybe it's best if we don't, but like, one thing that I'm always in favor of is kind of adding somebody that you wouldn't expect to or will kind of make things interesting to see if you could surprise us. That happened before, sometimes when it happened, it worked, sometimes it doesn't, not so much. But in this case, who knows, it can. What if, like, there is some hidden talent that we're not really aware of. I mean, like, what if she can put up that type of voice? Now, is Taylor Swift necessarily, like, the first person that I would shoot for? Absolutely not. She's actually the last person that I would choose. I mean, like, I would choose, like, the people that would audition for up and before then, like, Lee, Lee Michelle and one other. And, like, if for whatever reason those people couldn't do, and then I'll go acting around if people would like to play the part of Eponine. Like, you know, Emma Watson or Betty White. And then, if they said no, then I would pick Taylor Swift. She is really the last person I would pick. And I, I but then again, it's like, she could surprise us. They have good talent working behind this movie. And there were a lot of people who were thinking, well, maybe it won't be that bad because, you know, it's going to be Auditum. This is a very interesting, this is a very interesting movie because Sacha Baron Cohen had actually recently performed that Les Miserables will not be Auditum. It will be filmed live. They will be singing live and we and they'll be filming it at the same time. There will be no Auditum. So, sorry. <laughs> No, really, I am. But, then again, like, so, yep. Yeah, that's, that's going to be a shame for you. Unless, of course, like I said before, if Taylor Swift can pull off that role. You basically said something that's like, I don't really know what to think. You said that, uh, musical theater is dying. And I actually kind of tend to disagree with that. I think it just fell behind, if you will. And it kind of grew weaker throughout the years. I don't think it's going to die. I think that as long as the little, 
that as long as they keep doing this, I mean, even even the little people like you and me, and like would do and state musicals, as long as we keep doing these musicals, they will stay alive. They will only slow down. But I think it's going to get better from here. I really do kind of see the future for musicals, and I have high hopes for it. Now, again, about this whole Taylor Swift thing, I'm, I have mixed emotions about it. I mean, like, I know a lot of people have negative emotions, but I say, give her a chance. We've been surprised before. We we really have. I mean, Daniel Radcliffe and, like, uh, How to Succeed with Business, a man who we thought couldn't sing at all, at least could sing decently. So, I don't know, that's why I have hope, because... Just never say never, and it's like, and if they're going to fail, fail big. And if you really hate Taylor Swift that much, keep in mind she does die. So, yes, that's another important quote that I wanted to bring up. Anything can happen. You got a lot of good talent working behind us. Maybe Taylor Swift has like kind of been training for so. Again, she's not the first person I would have picked. She would be the last. Do I? I. I guess what I'm saying is we should wait till the movie. I mean, like, if we're impressed, we're impressed. If we're disappointed, we're disappointed. It just goes like that. So that's all I have to say. Goodbye.